looks like a cam. So push okay. that in, this white knob sticks out here. Uh -huh. Then you twist this dial over the place okay. of that button and then we can slide the sensor out. Okay. There is a hanger for this, but I'm not sure what your protocol is, but that's the 3D sensor. Okay. So. Gotcha. So that's the pano sensor there. Take yep. the pano sensor off and put the 3D sensor on. Yes. Perfect. Machines nowadays, this sensor does everything. Okay. So twist this. Okay. And push this white knob all the way back in until the blue light lights light up. Light up. Okay. So it makes a connection from the machine contact points and the sensor contacts. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So. And then Jill, I'm just going to remind in this video, and this is the reconstruction computer. This has to be turned on for the cone beam machine to work. So you'll see it's lit up here when it's on. Okay. Cool. Okay. So if the machine's kind of out of, it should not be in this position typically. Mm -hmm. So these buttons at the bottom, you'll see it says go entry one and go entry two. If you hit the go entry two, it's gonna reset it to the point where it's in the proper position for the patient to enter in the machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's basically how it should look. Um, so in the software now, yeah, you can it's out of the way. Yeah. yeah. It's out of the way. So at the top here, we'll just click on the toolbar for a 3D capture. So yep. set start a new 3D capture volume or volume capture. You click that button. You're an oral surgery location, so what I would recommend, this can be changed. Uh, Dalton and, you, and I could do this, I, I believe. Oh but if you log into your server, we can default the artifact removal algorithm, the ARA, okay. to high. Because okay. usually in my experience, oral surgeons have a lot of implants and okay. a lot of metallic okay. objects that create artifact. Yep. So you can set it a higher level by just manually, um, so at the server default it to high, because right now the default setting is low, okay. or you can manually set this before you take the comb image. Okay. So, and if you don't do it right away, at the, when you capture the image, it can be done after the fact without imaging the patient. Okay. So that's the Aura button is there's a button at the top toolbar. You don't see it right now, but there's a button here at the top that you can regenerate a whole new image with a higher level. Okay. So it's, <clears throat> but mostly you probably want to do this uh, by default. This checkbox, I just check it. It'll become a default. You don't have to check it again. Okay. Okay. So you're ready for, um, almost ready for the patient. So this is kind of set up for a panoramic use. These I should close down the patient's temples to okay. stabilize them and they have the bite stick. Okay. But for cone beam, the motor that closes these does not operate. We have a different way of stabilizing. Okay. So, um, and you have in this scenario, sorry, I keep saying this, but this is the uh, original way but not the the way we do it now to stabilize the patient okay. there actually is no stabilization of the patient so it's extremely important that the patient stays still okay. nowadays we have a different kind of setup that actually stabilizes the patient mm -hmm. and actually kind of squeezes on the left and right hands yeah. on the temples and keeps them better mm -hmm. uh, stable movement mm -hmm. is a problem with cone yeah. beams so if they move it wrecks the cone beam. So if you slide this in, okay. okay, and then push this like this, these push in, kind of securing you that in place. Engage, yeah. Yep, they okay. engage. See, I kind of push this down a little bit just to guide it into okay. it. So if you just pull out, you can take it out again uh -huh. and slide it in. I'm having, the, I'm pulling them out as they insert it, okay. and then insert it like that. Now okay. it's secured. Typically, in my experience. Um, you have another rest right here called the chin cup. Okay. We've used this for panoramics with indentulous patients mm -hmm. that can't bite a bite stick, but it's also great for use on the comb beam. So we put this in here, okay. and I generally have this slid up. Um, either you can pull this knob out okay. and it's, it's spring loaded. And you see those little notches right yeah. here? That blade goes right in the notch and holds the height. So you can pull it out and okay. go down a different notch. Okay. 
this changes the vertical dimension gotcha. where you're going to take the CT. Perfect. This little right here you pull out Perfect. and it's spring loaded. Yeah. So it can be all the way down if you wanted. Okay. But Perfect. generally, I'm either right here or maybe one notch down. And so to make sure that you're on the bottom of this field of view. So this okay. cutout window is where the CT, as you look through, will take place on the patient. Okay. Perfect. So that's kind of the, the guidance okay. on how targeting for the patient. Okay. Okay, so to take a CT, the, the patient would just guide in here and then they would, so on, so you probably yep. knew, I'm so, I understand. So the up and down arrow keys, they raise the height of the machine. Okay. So if you have a tall patient, a little, uh, tall, smaller patient, you have a down arrow as well. Okay. Cool. It has three speeds. So it goes slowly first, like if you're on a bite stick, possibly just makes uh, slight movements. Okay. Then if you hold it longer, it'll kick into a medium and then a high speed. I hear that. Yeah. And you, it'll go faster okay. as you hold. If you let go, it goes back to the slow speed. Okay. okay. So you adjust this to the proper height. Okay, and then you would guide the patient in. I would mm -hmm. recommend first you have them tell tell them to use the uh, handlebars. Okay. The handlebars are here. By the time they put their either they're in the bite stick when you take a panoramic or this, your eyes are up here. You can't see below here where your hands go. Okay. So that's why that's I usually nice. guide the hands first. Okay. Guide them into the chin cups so they okay. rest their chin in the chin cup. Okay. My experience, though, is that some patients will, won't completely understand where their chin goes, okay. so they'll rest it on top of this. Okay. Guide them back into the trough of the chin cup. Okay. Cool. The really obscure situations where they have had a, uh, an impression before, mm -hmm. they'll try to bite it. So <laughs> make sure yeah. they they guide their their. Yeah. Uh, chin mm -hmm. to the chin cup yeah. if they rest on the top what will mm -hmm. happen is they'll be too far out in front and then what will happen the machine can't image the front and it'll cone cut yeah. the front part of the ct okay so make sure they're in the trough yeah. then the next thing is i recommend that you adjust <clears throat> the patients you know this kind of go on the machine right now sure. I recommend that you have their chin so their occlusion is more is flat to the mm -hmm. ground. Okay. okay. Panoramic would be tilted slightly down, but for 3D CTs, have it more horizontal. Okay. I'm assuming, and I feel like it would be more horizontal. It looks horizontal. Yep, that's what you want. What it does is it levels up the anatomy mm -hmm. in the CT so that we get it. Uh, get the maxillary roots mm -hmm. you're going to get sinus in this so you're probably not going to have a problem but this all 